All right, the latest on the Tommy Pham rumors regarding the San Diego Padres. Bob Nightingale, USA Today, says here, the Padres and outfielder Tommy Pham are moving closer to reuniting on a one-year $3 million to $4 million deal. Pham earned $8 million last season, including incentives, while helping lead the Diamondbacks to the World Series. He played for the Padres in 2020 and 2021. Obviously, the fit for Tommy Pham sure seems like to be the Padres. Any reports that are out there about where Tommy Pham might land, the Padres always come up. It doesn't really matter who is putting out a report. It just seems like the Padres are that team. Uh, Nightingale did say here as well that the White Sox might be like the fallback plan if this falls through. But why should this fall through with the Padres? Why would this fall through? If you're A.J. Preller, you like Tommy Pham. Tommy Pham has that relationship with Mike Schilt. You have Jerks and Profar as the starting left fielder right now. Who knows if Jackson Merrill is going to end up playing well in the big leagues? What happens if an injury occurs? Then where is your outfield depth? Like, there just isn't there. Jose Zokar is a fine bench outfielder. Jerks and Profar is a fine utility veteran vibes guy to have. But to be starting every day in left field, I'm not so sure that's the best thing for the San Diego Padres. It's not like they'd be paying Tommy Pham $15 million a year. You go down, you go to fan graphs, go down to the value metric that they have. He was worth $14 million last year, over $14 million last year. And they can get him for three to $4 million, at least according to Bob Nightingale here. Sign me up. And it makes sense for the Padres, not just positional lead, positional need, excuse me, but luxury tax. According to Fangrass right now, they're under $224 million. 237 is the number that they want to be under. And even signing Tommy Pham to $4 million deal right here, that will still give them room to go make additions at the deadline if they want to. So if you have if your argument against signing Tommy Pham is, well, let's leave some room before the deadline, you know, leave some room, make some additions there, maybe. If you sign Pham, then maybe you won't be able to have that room. No, no, no. That's not the case here. So Tommy Pham, you add that to this lineup. I know he's not a left-handed hitter, but I want someone like that on this team. And there are some fans that don't want to deal with the drama or their point back to the Hassan Kim incident. I mean, Tommy Pham coming into this clubhouse, Hassan Kim, I hope that he sees it as this is someone that can help us go win baseball games. And Hassan Kim wants to win. Tommy Pham wants to win. The Padres should want to win, especially coming off of last season. Uh, look, they just scored one run, and they didn't get any hits to score that run against Team Korea. The offense, I get it spring training, and the season hasn't started yet, but it's been a little bit underwhelming. Um, there's a little bit of concern, at least for me, with the offense. Um, Sure, it looks a little bit top heavy right now, but there's some lineups that do look top heavy. This would lengthen the lineup. You know, I know that that phrase probably gets thrown around, but this would lengthen the lineup. This is someone that last year had a, I don't know if this is a season that he's going to have again, but 16 home run season, weighted runs created plus a 110, 1.8 war. That's better than what Jerks and Profar did last year. Like, I'm going to take that, especially three to four million dollars. There are some bench players in Major League Baseball that are doing that. Like, I'm going to take Tommy Pham at that. He's a DH option as well. If you want Profar to be playing left field, and he can play right field as well. If you need Fernando to have a day as a DH, it just makes your baseball team better. And this urgency thing that we're talking about. And that's been talked about a lot amongst Padres players. And Kevin Acey has wrote about it. I'm sure some others have wrote about it as well. Um, urgency. I think Tommy Pham is someone that would have urgency. And he would be someone in that clubhouse that wouldn't let things slide. Now, you could say that, well, 2021 happened. He was on the team. And that's a fair point. But Tommy Pham has not won a World Series. And he keeps getting older. And... There's that redemption probably part, right, with this Padres story if he ends up signing with the Padres. At this point, I'd be surprised if he doesn't sign with the Padres. So I just think that it's a fit. It's a fit for Tommy.
because the market just isn't there for him. Kind of like Profar to a lesser degree, like the market wasn't there for him. It just felt like it was a fit. This to me feels like a fit. Padres and Tommy Pham. For the Padres, it's cheap. It's someone that you could put in as your starting left fielder or be a very good bench bat. Um, I think a lot of teams would like to have Tommy Pham as their bench bat. I think Tommy Pham would be playing most of the time. Uh, but yeah, it just feels like a fit for both sides. And if the Padres don't get this done, I'll be disappointed.